How good are you at lying? Each one of these people is gonna be telling the truth, except there's one liar, and I'm gonna find out who. This is Deception. Five contestants will work together to win a cash prize of $200. In each round, four contestants will tell the truth while the other one lies. And it's my job to decipher who the liar is each round. They will start with $40, and if I guess who the liar is, I'll take $20 from them. However, if I guess wrong, I'll add $40 to their prize for a total of $200. So Khalil, my craziest dating story. We went and sat on a beach on a golf course, and I got head in public. You're waffling. Right next to You're waffling. an active You're waffling. golf course, only disguised waffling. by bushes. What day was this? This was about four years ago. Was it day or night? It was day. Okay. Middle of the day. With golfers on the golf course. Uh huh. Golf You're course. done, man. Next. All right. Most we'll talking to go uh -huh. exclusively through Bumble. No phone numbers, no Instagram, no Snapchat. She tells me to come over. She lives in the gated community. Okay. She tells me she has. Where's the gated community? <laughs> you don't know. A long time ago. Okay. When was this? Four years ago? <laughs> make it two. Okay. Oh, make, make it, it two. two. Okay. Yeah. So she lives in the gated community. She tells me she lives alone. And she doesn't have a car. Mm -hmm. So I am incentivized to go to her. Mm -hmm. So I go, okay, give me your address, give me your gate code. She gives me the address, she gives me the gate code. Beep, boop, 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 boop. And I enter. As soon as I tell her I'm here, she unmatches me. Oh shit, what am I doing here? Uh -huh. I go to her house. And what do I see? She tells me she has no car. I see two, two cars. cars. This is a true story. I've heard this. Way. Nope. Get the f out of here. Next. Oh, you know this one? I know this story. Oh, you told shit. me this. I thought I was about to be trafficked. Damn. I knew this. This is a real story. You told me this. I, tell you, I forgot about this. I talk to you too much. I match with this girl on Tinder. I pick her up. I what car? Up like a gentleman, my Prius. You know, we go to Boardwalk Bowling. We go, we go bowling. As soon as I picked her up, though, I'm like, yup, this isn't going to go past the first date. I paid for everything, you know, as yeah. a gentleman does. Uh, brought her home. Hmm. Should I ghost her? <laughs> uh huh. My dad convinced me to not let her, you know, not be ghosted. Let her ghost, not be yeah, ghosted. Not be ghosted. So I, I uh, told her, uh, hey, Fantastic date. I was told her, uh, I don't think this is gonna work out. And then I just left from there. Okay. That's my one off Tinder date. Okay. Ever. It was a Tinder date. She invited me over to cook for me breakfast. I get there, it's in Semaran, some house in Semaran. It looked nice in the outside, but in the inside, in the inside, it was like, oh my God, trash bags everywhere. When she cracked the egg, some of the yolk spilled on the oven. And okay. She cleaned it up. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, ooh. I text Zachary, I'm like, hey, code red, which means, Yo. hey, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which means text me or call me saying like, code red, I'm stuck on the side of the road. Okay. Get me. Yeah. Yeah. So he calls me and he's like, yo, I need you. Like, like my tires popped. I'm like, all right. Oh, I'm like, oh shit. Like I act all upset. I'm like, oh fuck. I'm like, hey, like, I'm sorry. Like I can't, I can't like yeah, yeah. stay for breakfast. I think that's a real story. I went to a college for a little bit and there was a lot of girls there that, you know, showed a little bit of interest. Mm -hmm. And one of them I ended up dating. She had a roommate at the time. Her name was, oh, I'm name dropping. Her name was And okay. we'll always beat that up. She, um, <laughs> hey, they both low key like had a crush on me, but they uh -huh. lived together. They okay. lived together. I, I took her to like Pine's Ale House. Like Pine's a little, Ale House. Ale House date. Okay. And we got home and she wanted a threesome with the roommate. The roommate was really, really getting active. The roommate so. was getting active with who? You? With with her with, with her, her actually. okay yeah, you're just yeah. watching her. you're cocking yeah i was at first and the thing is i didn't know yeah it was it was, it was like a little cuck hole moment I had, I had a girlfriend at the time and i would see them at school so you had a girlfriend and then had a threesome no, no 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 wait when i met them when i met them i had a girlfriend at the uh -huh. time okay i had a girlfriend when we broke up i still went to that school i dm'd okay. on instagram and i was yeah. like not gonna lie i'd eat it from the back it ended up happening and okay yeah perfect can't lie i think all these guys stories are just complete garbage and the two that I'm really thinking about are Zach and Reese. There's no way Zach had a girlfriend and was talking to other girls and hooking up with other girls. It makes no sense, but I'm gonna have to go with Reese. I think Reese is the liar this round. Let me tell you about what I did yesterday. What did you do yesterday? So yesterday, first thing I did, got up, went to Kiki's breakfast by myself, because I wanted to. And then my one of my best friends, Javi, he came over, filmed some of the TikToks for him. Okay. Um, what time did I call you yesterday? 
You didn't call me yesterday. I didn't call you yesterday. No, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then we went to the gym, got Chick Fil A. Got Chick Fil A. You know, get that protein in. Yes, sir. Oh. Every day. Yeah. Played some Fortnite at night. This sounds like an average day in the life of you. I'm not gonna lie. Does it? This is the, the most Sam day I've heard in my life. Next. All right. Yesterday I had a little adventure, so I picked up my friend from Canada. I thought it would be funny for him to surprise his girlfriend, so he stopped by a sex shop and he got some toys for his girlfriend for the weekend. You dropped him off. Yep. Okay. Sat at the bar for a minute because it was pouring rain. Talked to some people drove home and that was my day yesterday mm -hmm. okay next what's your story typical morning wake up eat breakfast and i hit the gym and then i get a call from my wrestling manager you want to make some extra money today yo so i got these uh women that i'm gonna shoot videos with but these kind of videos are a little bit on, on the sexier side yeah well, so what's the deal he tells me the whole spiel and i'm like i'm wrestling women and then so i go to the studio and i see this girl and like she looks like Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman. Uh, yeah. So from I'm Batman. Like, oh. Yeah. She's like yeah. Catwoman. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm wrestling her. That sounds amazing. You're wrestling Catwoman. I'm wrestling her and I'm getting paid for it. I like it. Like, what does she look like? Like Catwoman. Tell White, you. black, Asian? <laughs> like Catwoman. I went home and I was like, how much did you get paid? I'm not pocket watching. I'm just asking for a friend. Okay. Waffles. Get the f out of here. That not real? You're a legend. I started off my day with George. Uh huh. Pause. Anyways, but uh, told him to wake me up. <laughs> I had to be up at like at 11, but I told him I was like, wake me up at like 10:30. Went to the studio from like 11 to 3. My sister, she needed to go to the airport to go see her boyfriends. So uh -huh. She was like, take me to the airport. I'm in a little rush because I had to take you know, my little thing on a date. We went to the okay. shooting range. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, we went to Polos Mario. Yeah. I had Jurasco. 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 Yeah. Shit. With some with some beans, some mozzarella sticks, a Shirley Temple. This is valid. And after that, I went went to her house so she can go pick up some stuff so she can come back over. And you made a TikTok. I, yeah, and I did. Yeah. So you you know what I did yesterday. Yeah. yeah I believe that's true. I get ready for work. Uh huh. I went to Target. Yeah. Until nine. But before I went to Target, I went to the gym. What do you wear? Shorts and tank top. Okay. What color is the tank top? Black. Waffle. Waffle. I was there yesterday. I seen you at Target. Which gym? I mean, what gym? I went to the gym in my tank top. Oh, what color was your shirt at Target? <laughs> my shirt at Target yesterday? Yeah. It yeah. was like white. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my manager hit me up to work at Saddle Up. 10.30 shift. And I got there at 10.30. Worked till 2. Ate pizza. Left. Ate pizza. Okay. I have nothing to say. Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Reese. I I have a mix between Reese and George because I seen George yesterday. I literally seen him yesterday. And Reese just cap and he just followed cap. But I'm gonna have to say Reese again. Sorry, Reese. I think my craziest work story uh -huh. is gonna be involving this guy we call Cowboy. 70 year old grumpy ass old man. Okay. Wears this giant cowboy hat. Constantly always like on something, always got like a little issue, mm -hmm. always grumpy. And so one day I'm serving him and like, I have a group of people, like 14 people sit right before he even gets in the bar. I already gave him his beer cause I know what he wants to drink. I go up to him, I'm like, all right, do you want to get any food? He's like, no, he's like, I should shoot this place up for how long it took you to get to me. And I was like, excuse me? And he's that white people stuff. Put his bill in front of him. I was like, pay up like $5, leave. Apparently the next day did the same shit. And the other bartender did the same shit. Wow. Like, Don't come back. This is a re story, man. This is what I like. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. I believe you. I was working at when we had the contract at Parlay. It was security at a section. Okay. And I go, one of the guys in the section was like, yo, give me the hookah girl. I go get the hookah girl. I hear screaming. I come out, two sections of girls just battling. Battling. Fists. Hair pulling. Hair pulling. Lace, la whatever it's called, lace fronts are flying. All over. <laughs> Glass all over. And um, I'm just calling everybody, like, yo, fight, fight, fight. Mm -hmm. Bunch of Casamigos we're, we're everywhere. Just grabbing people. Police came, pepper sprayed some of the girls. Pepper sprayed the yeah. girls. Some of the girls oh, man. were trying to get in still. That's yeah. that's crazy. One of them got arrested. That's crazy. Um, she was black? <laughs> no, she was white, actually. Yeah, I knew it. Black people don't do that. Yeah, they don't do that. <laughs> Come on, man. Horror, I know. So, um, that was, I mean, that was a pretty crazy experience, so, yeah. I believe you. I knew she was white. I just, I wanted to make sure she was white. Black people don't do that, man. I'm not no big dude. I'd be at the door. One day, like, there was, they were short staffed at La Rosa, so they were like, go inside and get, get some guy, because he grabbed the bottle girl's <laughs> ass. So I go inside and get the guy, and he's drunk off his ass. He's like, okay, let me go get my wallet real quick. His wallet was in his pocket the entire time. Like, you gotta go. And when we get to the door, he's like, okay, I need to get my bag from the podium. I'm like, okay, I'll get you your bag. So I'm going to go grab the bag. He pushed me up against the door. So I slam on the ground. He gets back up. I slam like on the ground again. Or you just like 
I don't want to say it was like an RKO. Yo, it was more so like did you grab his shoulders? Yeah, it was like, like ah. it was like one of those, but like like it was like on like the ropes <laughs> of like the. Where you like? Where you like? <clears throat> yeah, I was I was feeling I was feeling big. Okay, I was okay, like, yeah, hey, yeah, come yeah. on now. So I go to get the bag from the podium. I hand him the bag. He had a gun in the bag. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Imagine if I would have got killed. Ain't no way. And I handed him the gun. Ain't no way. That's insane in the membrane. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, the cops came, arrested him. Turned out it was a BB gun. But yeah, that's my story. Crazy work experience. You know I work at a high-end resort as a bellman. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Mosby. Relax. Yo, chill. <laughs> 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 this one time, we had manager for some sports people. Mm -hmm. We got chatting a little bit because we were talking in the lobby. And he was asking me, like, so what's what's the craziest thing you've done for, like, a tip or whatever? I was like, head. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> The Creo, well, it'll get there. Um, oh. No. The, <laughs> so he's like, no, no, no. He, he I mean something man. like sexual, anything like that. And I was like, uh, no, not really. And in the mix of talking, I was like, yeah. would you like ice for the room? Because a lot of times, high end resort, we're going to be like, you need ice, towels, blankets, anything like that. What if someone will offer you $300 to, you know, have them give you head? I was like, never had that. Um, do you still want your ice? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> hello, human resources, <laughs> yeah. please. Whoa. Yeah. So he said, yeah. So I went and grabbed his ice. I come back to the room with the ice. When I walk into the room, he's on his bed. Booty butt. Pants zipped down. Booty pants butt. Yeah, exactly. Booty bandit. Yeah, shirt on, but pants unzipped and like, what Like, you, you know when the girls, like, they wear their pants and they show, like, the panties yeah, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they got a zip. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I like that. And he already tipped me beforehand. So I give him ice. I'm like, okay, here you go. I literally set it down. I'm like, you have a good one. And I walk out, go back to the lobby, and, but that was the end of that. And I Ooh. did not get the 300 bucks. I believe you. All right. I believe you. Is that it? That's it. Beautiful. Okay. So I've only had two jobs in my life. Uh-huh. Right now, I'm a personal trainer, group yeah. fitness instructor, and I used to work at Express. My first day at Express, well, there's the, the pre-day, the first day, and then the after day. So we'll consider this three days. So the day I got hired. <laughs> pre-day, it's already sounding like cap. So the day I got hired, I didn't find out that the pay for everybody else was like $9, $10 an hour, but he offered me $11 an hour when I was just fresh, brand new. Then the first day of actual work, I come in, I'm the new kid in town, but there's this receptionist girl coming in and out. She had no reason to be in and out, in and out, in and out. Towards in the end out. of the day, like she was just making small talk with me as I was like unpacking clothes and I was like, hey, can I kiss you? And I was like, I right, you're a good looking woman. Yeah, sure, I'll kiss you. I got a nice kiss and the rest is history. That's it, I got a first kiss okay. on my first day. That was your job. first kiss? No, first kiss on the job. <laughs> oh, okay. First kiss right. on the that first That would've been cute. Day. That's yeah, a cool story. That was awesome, yeah. It's a good story, man, I like that. You're a good storyteller. Thank you. You're full of shit, though. You're a liar. We'll find out. You're a liar. Third round is tough. The Lexus getting a kiss on the first date plus an extra dollar for minimum wage is crazy. And Sam's story, Sam is just, uh, dude, I just don't believe I think Sam knows whose story that is, but that's not his story. But I'm gonna have to clock in the Lexus for my third person. The Lexus, I'm voting you for the third round. Okay. <laughs> you should look down like a 70 year old. <laughs> in elementary, second grade. Second grade is your craziest. Second grade. Second grade. And that's your worst story. It was in the playground. Uh -huh. I had a, I was playing with a ball. Zach was. Oh no, he was. He was. He was my friend at the time. Uh -huh. he, he. His other friend stole the ball from me. They were playing like monkey in the middle with me. I was in the middle. I grabbed the ball. I hit Zach. Like you like. I was like. I was, I was like. Don't touch me. Don't touch the ball again or some shit. And then I dip. I don't do crazy things to my friends. So uh huh. I think that was probably crazy. I think you're a liar. So my story consists of a friend that I, lo I no longer have. George, <laughs> monkey in the middle. No, no, no. no. <laughs> George is my dog since second grade. Thanksgiving yeah. last year, I came back in town, been with my family. This girl is gonna come over. Friend, I'm our friend Chelsea. Trend. Our friend Chelsea. But she's like, like a friend. Chelsea. Friend. Yeah, yeah. Shell. Yeah. Not shell, shell. Shell, like, like S-H. A shell, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tragic. She her comes to my shell, house, so. she brings her friend. Yeah. Her friend has a boyfriend at the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm single at the time. So when okay. I get in the car, I'm like, you know, it's free game. We end up taking some shots, playing Uno. Her eyes were blue, so I was like, every time I'd, like, I'd, I'd put, pick like a different car, I'd be like, color blue, blue, blue. Like, yeah. So it gets to the point where Chelsea's like, okay, I gotta take you home. And I was like, oh, f Chelsea, I can't go home. Like, my mom can't see me drunk. So I was like, maybe I need to sleep over your house, right? Okay. We go, yeah. we go. <laughs> 
we this go back. We hosed. go back. <laughs> we go back to Chelsea's house. It's time to go to bed, and I'm like, "Where am I gonna sleep?" So I like kind of like mosey on up in the middle between the two of them. And Chelsea kind of got the vibe that like me and the friend were about to like you know get active. So she was like, "I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys should maybe kiss or have." something okay she leaves and i was like you know what that's not a bad idea so we got to work in chelsea's bed Mm. she comes back in the room there was no there was no quitting so chelsea like sat on the edge of the bed while i was hitting it for like a good hour just Mm. watching scooby-doo on the tv okay and after that me and chelsea weren't friends no more because in her bed yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my story. I'm truthful. I'm You're a horrible person, man. I'm not a horrible person. Like she told me, she told me to do it. You're so gonna I was do it. That's suit. that's why I would have left your your friendship too, man. No. On my bed. No. That's crazy. She gave me permission. Me and my friends play what are the odds or odds, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We were at my friend Nolan's house. He said a hobby, the one that I was hanging out with yesterday. Was like, what are the odds you let us all piss in the toilet and you put your hand in it, right? That's some white people. They're all white. One hundred percent. Hispanic. We said it. We said the same number, so we okay. had to do it. We had yeah, yeah. four of us there. Somebody was pissing yellow. Someone had toilet paper. It was awful looking. So we went to the bathroom, stuck his hand in. We we were saying thirty seconds. He lasted about like seven to ten seconds. Okay. Before he started gagging because he touched that toilet paper and it was like all in his hands and everything. <laughs> Melted his hand in boiling hot water after just to like get all the germs off in the sink not actual boiling water and that's my story that's a weak story man but I, i'll accept it oh okay thanks uh, put it like i write it down as like acceptable acceptable right 70 percent. me and my younger brother so right now i'm 21 he's 16. this story takes place when i was like 10 and he was five okay we used to share a bedroom i already Our believe garage you. was for the grandma so we had to share a bedroom your garage and is for your grandma yeah we turned the garage into a bedroom okay yeah so we couldn't nice. have bedrooms that's so hispanic i yeah. love that so when aliens were so hyped. Aliens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> aliens. So, I was like, what, fourth, fourth or fifth grade? Everybody was talking about aliens, and I was so paranoid of them. I was like, yo, shit, are these people real or Tin not? Tinfoil hat, all of it. Dude, yeah. The whole shebang. I was paranoid of aliens. Uh-huh. So, one night, <laughs> one night, I wanted to go to the bathroom. Okay. But... I saw like a little shadow in the creeks of my door and I thought it was shadow. an alien. Okay. So I was like, me being my 10 year old self, like, fuck, I don't want to go out. What if I get abducted by the alien outside my door? So what I do, I go to my brother's bed, I whip my dick out and I start pissing on his bed. When we wake up the next morning, my mom goes, yo, my brother Alexander, Alexander, you pissed yourself on the bed? He's five. It's acceptable that he pisses the bed. Me being a ten year old, I was like, I can't piss the bed. No, Gas let's blame it on my brother. Gaslighting. Yeah. Five and my brother was like, I pee. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. This guy's a professional reality, liar. It was me. Mashallah, man. Oh man. Yeah. So moral of the story, don't believe in aliens, cause then you'll be pissing on somebody else's bed. Okay. Nice. Okay, nice, nice. That's my story. I'm currently at this moment been sliding into the DMs of my friend's mom. What? I'm not surprised. It started about You're always like, doing that. It started about two months ago just out of a joke. Okay. And so every time he's on the phone with his mom, I'll take the phone from him, start talking to her, end it with a love you, and then I just started sliding into her DMs on Instagram. Okay, what is what is the message you sent? Uh, it's just, hey, let me talk to you on the phone today but i miss you and love you we, whenever you're in town let me know i feel like you are brave enough to say that to your friend on camera yeah in 4k no i've told him to his face yeah. he's seen the messages Damn. <laughs> you guys are horrible people man horrible people all right again for the fourth round i'm going sam and the lexus why i don't know my brain is saying sam is on some white people shit and the lexus the tinfoil hat and the aliens I do believe Zach. I think he's a whore. But I'm gonna clock in my final answer with Sam. Sam, you're you're my final pick. But now it's time for the reveal. The person who I guessed and the actual person who's lying. Step up. Which one of you's lying? You're lying. <laughs> Horror! I'm ready. <laughs> Who's lying? What? How did you? T- you were at Target. How are you? You were at Target. 
Oh! What? That is. That's so. That is. You can find yourselves. Sam and Alexis. So I just think getting right because it's red. <laughs> I just read. The whole thing is red. Who was lying? I got right. No. Wait, well, yeah, I guess. You guessed me. Oh, you guessed well. Sam. Ah. Almost. <laughs> Sam and Alexis again. I got it. Nice, it's nice. It's the piss stories. <laughs> yeah, piss man. stories. Piss boys. Yeah. Which one of you piss boys is lying to me? Did I guess oh. you? Oh, you oh my god! <laughs> Oh, Good job, guys. Oh, <laughs> Just take, take all my money. All. Yeah, give me yeah. that money, boy. Yo, come here, boys. Come here, boys. Let's go. Everyone get horror. <laughs> In shambles today. <laughs> I threw it on the table. And that was who was lying. We'll see you next week.